This space is looking great. I haven't even like done anything to it. I mean, I tore down a wall. Oh. Best advice I'm ever gonna give on this channel, the voice in your head tells you to tear down your wall with a sledgehammer, you don't question it. Just do it. By the way, if you didn't know already, we released a new single with Foosley this week. There's a full version and an instrumental version out and maybe a music video. I sent it to her like three days ago. I don't know if she's posted it or not. And by the way, both of those versions are copyright free. You can use it in all your YouTube videos, all your live streams. Do what you want. As long as you also then go and stream it on repeat on Spotify or whatever, because that is how we make money. <laughs> Also because Foosley killed it, so you should listen to it a lot. It's a great song, link to it in the description down below. It's available on all streaming platforms and you can go download it for free at streamheats.com to use in your YouTube videos. Anyway, how many stream decks are there at this point? I wanna say five? Six if you count the mobile app. And nowadays everybody and their mom has one. I swear, I saw a picture of NASA using one at like a launch or something. I haven't been able to go and find it. There's a possibility I've been thinking too much about streaming and I dreamed it, but that would be, that'd be weird. But if I were to ask you a question, you were to answer it honestly, I need you to be a little vulnerable here. How many of you only use it to switch scenes? Hit the like button if that's you. Comment if you use it for something else. I would say primarily. If you use something else more than 50% of the time, comment down below and let me know what it is because I'm dying to know. But look, if that is you, I'm not here to judge you. I'm here to help. I've got a short list of tricks, plug-in tips, little things that allow this little guy to make my life so much easier. So let's jump into it. We're not gonna start with number one on this list. We're gonna start with number zero, because number zero here is gonna make your stream deck look sexy. That felt weird to say. That wasn't scripted and I didn't like it. But the sponsor is VBI and they have free packs of stream deck icons. So look, after today's video, you're gonna be using your stream deck a lot more. You might as well make it look nice with some of these free icons. If you don't know about visuals by Impulse, they are the, the pinnacle of design company for content creators and streamers. And they're currently giving away the most beautiful set of stream deck icons I've ever seen. For example, you can go full weave with the Sakura set of icons. You can use the tactical set for design inspired for your favorite shooter. Or maybe you just want Pac-Man displaying when you're not using it. Why not? And there's a ton of other options and you should look through them because there's a good chance that VBI has a free set that looks better than what you're currently using right now. And I don't say that to be condescending. It's just VBI. You can either install them directly from the Stream Deck store or you can grab them from VBI's website. And each pack comes with hundreds, if not thousands of icon designs. And extra bonus for you, by the way, while you're on VBI's website looking at icons, if you find anything else that you like, like for example, Stardust, the perfect stream companion for you, you can get 20% off anything else in the store. Just make sure you use code SENPAI or use the link in the description below. It should automatically apply it. So knock yourself out. Go get some Stream Deck icons. Go get some cool designs. Go get anything you want from VBI because, well, it's all great. Back to the video. Okay, now we're at number one. And I'm gonna start off with a favorite of mine, especially like a new favorite of mine, because we all know that you can use the little knobs down here to adjust the channels, like the audio channels using Wavelink software. So like music, chat, gameplay, my microphone, whatever. But did you know that you can also use these knobs to adjust the individual volume of people in your Discord chat? The plugin is called Discord Volume Mixer, and it's not like a brand new plugin, but I had just heard of it for the first time recently. Once you have it all set up, and by the way, the developer gives you a little bit of a walkthrough to do that, so it's not too bad. Once you jump into a Discord voice chat, it automatically assigns all the people in that voice chat onto your knobs. Elgato wants me to call them dials. This is a real DM from Stuggy from Elgato. I'm not gonna call them dials. They're knobs. But back to the plugin. It does exactly what you think it'll do. It assigns people to the knobs. You turn the knob, it adjusts the volumes of the individual user. We all have that really loud friend. Mine is named Chase. <laughs> Problem solved. Sorry, Chase. <laughs> Next one is a big one that I use every single day and I I'm such a weenie that I can't get by without it. But we all know that the Stream Deck can turn on and off your Elgato lights. Some of you also know that you can turn on and off and control your Hue lights. But not a lot of people know that you can turn on or off anything. It does require a little piece of hardware and I will link to it down in the description if this interests you. But this is a little outlet by Philips. It's a very simple thing. You plug your thing into this, you plug this into your outlet, and now you can push a button on your Stream Deck and it turns it off and on. Anything you want is a smart thing now. I use it for two things in particular and it would drive me nuts if I couldn't. First off, I have four cameras in here. One of them is mounted to the ceiling. You can see, look at it. 
I can, it's really hard. It's mirrored on the screen right there. I'm not gonna stand up on a stool or stand on my desk and turn that on or off. No, I plug it into the wall through this. Now I hit a little button on my stream deck and it turns it on. In fact, I hit four buttons on my stream deck and all four of my cameras turn on. Just like that. That was five. Also, this light up here on the ceiling that you can't see, but it's like my my rear light. I'm sure you've seen it in my streams. That does not connect to the Stream Deck app. Or wait, does it? Yeah, it, it does now. So like if you have something out of reach, something you have to turn on and off frequently, a lot of things you have to turn on and off or something like, you know, something behind your desk or on the ceiling. I'm giving too many examples, but the point is throw one of these on there and now you hit a button on your Stream Deck. I like to make sure that the icon on the Stream Deck is like big and red when the thing is on because I've left all four of my cameras on by accident, not realizing they were on. So now it's like, it's a very obvious like cameras on icon. I love these things. <laughs> Number three, did you know I accidentally leaked my IP address on stream once? <laughs> That is actually an intro to number three. I wanted to run a speed test on stream and I didn't realize that it shows your IP address right there in the browser. Well, if you wanna run a speed test, you don't have to do that anymore because there is a speed test plugin right for your stream deck. You press the button, you give it a couple seconds, and then it just, it gives you everything you need. And bonus tip on this one, if you don't want to do like full on speed tests every time, you just wanna be monitoring your ping of your connections, whether that's your internet connection or connection to a NAS or just something else on your local network. There's a plugin called Wind Tools by the developer Bar Raider, and you can just plug in an IP address or even just Google, and at a set interval, just constantly be checking the ping of that connection. Just like a nice little peace of mind plugin. Plugin number four, did you know that the best way to grow on Twitch is to make more discoverable content on other platforms such as YouTube or TikTok. That's a reference, by the way. That used to be a GoXLR sample recording that whenever someone would jump in my stream and ask me how to grow on Twitch, it hit that button and it would say that exact same. I've heard it a thousand times. Anyway, there's literally a button you can place on your stream deck that will go back in time, record the previous couple minutes of your stream, rearrange everything into a vertical format, and then export it and have it be a video file ready for you to go. There's a little bit more to it than that, but not a lot. I'm talking about the vertical plugin by Atom. Yes, this is the same vertical plugin that I designed and then worked with Atom to develop, but I'm gonna plug myself in this video. It is what it is. The vertical plugin is a second canvas that lives next to your main canvas, but it's vertically oriented. And just like your main canvas, you can set up scenes and sources and completely design it however you want. And then you can actually link those vertical scenes to your regular scene. So when you're on your gameplay scene, it shows your vertical gameplay scene. When you're on your chatting screen, it shows your vertical chatting scene. And then either either by just using a simple hotkey that you choose, or if you're a full-on Atom user, you can put a button on your stream deck that will activate something called flashback recording, and it will retroactively record a previous amount of time that you get to set. And there you go, something happens great on stream, hit the button on your stream deck, you have a TikTok ready to go. Or a YouTube short in case TikTok gets shut down, which the government has been threatening for like three years now, so. I'll believe it when I see it. The vertical plugin is completely free. I'll link to that as well as all of these things, by the way, links to all these things down below. But speaking of hotkeys here, can we just jump into one that's like my bread and butter? A lot of people think I'm a power user. I'm I'm really not. Like I just like to make things look pretty. Like lately my streams have been like three sources, my camera, my alerts, two sources. <laughs> I'm serious. But I like to use the regular hotkeys for a lot of things, like a lot of things, not just in streaming, but everywhere. And there are some amazing things you guys are missing out on. First off, did you know that you are not limited to the buttons on your keyboard? Sorry, keyboard's gonna be dusty. I didn't judge you in the beginning, don't judge me now. This is my keyboard. It goes up to F12, but if I open up a hotkey and I click on the little down arrow and I go to F keys, I can go up to F20. This side, it doesn't have a number pad, but I can still pick a number pad button as a hotkey on there. Until like a month ago, I had totally forgotten about all this and I had set my Discord mute button to be like, P, <laughs> just so I could set it as a hotkey on my stream deck. But then when I was typing, if I hit P, I would hear the like the mute button every single, and if I was talking while I was doing that, I would get just set it as F20. Those are like free invisible buttons that you will never accidentally hit. Also, dial hotkeys, oh my gosh. The level of productivity that I've had with these guys. They're not just volume knobs, by the way. They're all purpose knobs. 
That's going to be clipped. When you set a hotkey to a knob, you have three different things you can set. You can set it to a hotkey turning clockwise, turning counterclockwise, and then clicking in, which also, by the way, does the same thing if you tap the screen right above it. So when I'm not streaming, I have a whole knob display for my video editing. Anything that needs like fine little by little adjustments, where like I want to be able to turn it up 1% at a time. If I'm clicking and dragging, I'm accidentally dragging up to 5%, then back down, and I'm also dragging the colors around while I'm just trying to go exactly, like if I need some fine tuned stuff, I always put it on here. I'm currently learning Blender and like I always have in mind like what can I add to these dials. So I like to make multiple pages depending on what I'm doing. So like I have my main streaming page, then I swipe over and it's my video editing page, then I swipe over and it's my Blender page. But like let's say you want to get real crazy here and you want more than four knobs. You want these to stay constant but you want like four knobs. You can make one of these knobs like if I hit this it activates color correction and it opens up to a color correction profile where all these are the same but then these, just these, change to color correction. So you hit this button, it opens up color correction in your software, and it changes this to color correction. I'm getting ahead of myself here, I'm getting excited over knobs. That's gonna be clipped. Anyway, the point I'm trying to make is utilize hotkeys to their full potential. It's built in, it's first party, if you're lazy and you don't like going into the store and downloading third party stuff, like, utilize hotkeys. They're great. Number six, I'm just gonna use this one to give you back the time that you spent watching this video. So this is a completely free video for you. Uh, pick up Windows Mover, also by Bar Raider. He's kind of the MVP of this video. If you have a place where you like to set your windows, especially for you streamers that wanna open it up and want everything to be in the same place every time, download the Windows Mover plugin, put your application where you like it on the screen, and then save that position. And then every time you hit that button, that application will land right there every time. Or go one step further, create a multi-action with all of your windows being placed. And then you hit the button and they all go right where you want them. Or go one step further and first set a multi-action that opens all those windows, then set a slight delay, and then another, like same multi-action, all the windows mover tools so they open and then go where you want them to go. Anyway, am I getting ahead of myself here again? Knobs. <laughs> Might as well. I feel like the original idea for the Stream Deck was just to change scenes, and then the whole community went full Apollo 13, and we're like, I don't care what it was designed to do. I care about what it can do. But again, there will be links to everything, including Stream Decks down in the description below, which those will be affiliate links, so if you want to support the channel and you've been wanting to pick up some of these things for a while, please use the links. Thank you, appreciate it, and hit the like button if you haven't already, because you're still watching, you obviously liked the video, and uh, maybe we have a vote in the comments down below. What Stream Deck are you using? How many Stream Decks do you have? What? List them. I need to see this. <laughs> have an awesome one, guys. As always, happy streaming.